Hey guys, my name is Hugh Rousey Jr. and today we're going to be unboxing Hyperglow Nia. And, um, where's my scissors? Oh, there it is. Um, I was thinking about getting this, um, because I seen it in the store when my dad picked me up. Um, so all the viewers here are probably from his channel, because you've seen that I, uh, got it. Oh, I'm already unboxing it. I didn't even show the box yet. Okay. I'm really excited to unbox it. That's why. Um, so, right. What do I say first? Um, my dad bought it so I can trade him a shiny Lapras in Pokemon Go. So, that's why he got it. Um, so, that's Hyperglonia. And I was thinking if I wanted to get it or not. Because, like, I have three Nias. I mean, well, I have two other Nias. But this is my third one now. Um... One of my Nia's I destroyed because I'm going to use it for a crash scene. But anyways, uh, this is my third Nia and I was wondering, I was like, I don't know if I need an unnecessary Nia, but I just really like the design of it, so I wanted to get it. Um, the front says Nia lights up the track. There's Nia on the track. There's motorized action 3 to 7, which I'm 15. Thomas and Friends, Trackmaster, Glow in the Dark. This side says kind of the same premises, the same thing, <clears throat> and I have both of them. I have the whole collection. Um, I know Percy actually has a glow-in-the-dark version, but I didn't, I don't think I've seen him anywhere yet. Unless I have Percy. Actually, I don't remember if I got Percy or not, but I might have gotten Percy. I'll have to check. Um, I'll go on the wikia and see see uh what percy looks like and see if i actually got him because i usually remember trains that i got by looking at the design because i just memorized the designs of the trains so um nia leave the glowing trail when she races over glow in the dark track which it's because of the black light under her um cab and i really like the black light idea it's so cool that they did that and it's cool that the trains glow in the dark, like, um, without, oh, no, the trains glow in the dark different colors instead of green, because usually when you have glow in the dark, it's always green instead of the color it actually is, so this actually, I think, is going to glow pink and orange and green, purple, so... Um, I'm excited for that. I'm glad that they have that. I never knew that different colors of glow in the dark existed. Um, besides in glow sticks, but, you know, I didn't know if they made the same material. Um, so is the bottom? No, I guess this is the only uh, opening. This is the other side, which is the same thing again. <clears throat> and I'm going to take out the tracks first. Okay. Let's see if I could just pull this off. So I have, um, Glow in the Dark Thomas and Ashima because I really like those designs too. Plus, Ashima, that's the only, um, Ashima that's out right now in Trackmaster. So, of course, I had to get it. Um, there we go. Otherwise, I would have had to get Playro Ashima, and the Playro one isn't that great compared to the Trackmaster one. So I'm glad they released both of them at the same time. Because then I would have bought um, Playro Nia, and then Trackmaster Nia came out, and then that one was better, you know? Uh, also, if you can tell, I'm sick, kind of. My nose is very stuffy, but... This is the first time I've been sick in, like, literally a year. Um, I don't know if it's the weather change, or maybe it's because I was out in the rain recording things, like, literally all day. But, you know, there's a track. And it's cool that they come with the track. They're doing that thing again. Um, it kind of feels like the old Trackmaster, where they used to come with three tracks. Uh, I don't know how to open this, though. I just cut it. to do. I 
I'm really trying here. Oh, this is kind of like opening a Bachman. Because their plastic is like mm, so hard. close to victory. There we go. And now we throw the box and I'm going to point the camera more down. Let me see. There we go. Okay. So here's the Hyper Glow Nia and she looks really nice. Um, I'm wondering if I should paint the buffers black and the, uh, the chain black. But, um, Maybe I won't, maybe I will. Uh, you tell me in the comments what I should do with the buffers. Because, of course, they're not painted. But, um, I really love the design. It's fine if the buffers are not painted, because this makes up for it, like, way much. Like, a lot. Um, the colors are really nice. It's pink. Oh, no, actually. Well, yeah, yeah, this is pink, but... The triangles are blue, yellow, purple, green, and that's basically the triangles. And um, the design on the sides are really nice. It's like Aztec, Aztec type of style. Looks really disco-y. Um, the top is green, and you could see all the details there. Um, the orange is much lighter than her regular orange. Uh, if anyone noticed, the pink really looks nice. I really like the pink against the orange. It looks like peach, peach and oranges. Oh, wait, no, peach and strawberries? Yeah, peach and strawberries. That's what it looks like to me. Um, and honestly, I really like the design of this. I'm gonna see if I can get one of the other, uh, Hyper Glow engines and try to contrast this one. Use the battery in the other one to glow in the dark, this one, basically. Make this one glow. Because this one has a black light on it. And what black light does is makes it glow a lot. It makes it glow so much. Let me see if I can try to see it a little bit. I can kinda see it. Oh, it might be too light. Might be too light outside. <clears throat> yeah, you could kinda see it in real life, but I don't know about in the video. Um, but basically, it glows a lot more when you use a black light on the track. Let me see if it works with a Shima. Let me turn off the lights. I see it leaves a glowing trail. Can't really see it too much. But, um, I really do like the design of Nia, and I am surely gonna use this in maybe, like, a trippy episode. Um... I'm going to try to use all the special edition engines some point, at some point, because I have a lot of them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of Hyperglonia. I sure did. Um, like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And we will see you all next time. Peace!